Well, we were very young. I mean, we were uh, uh, taken into the program of the Young Pioneers. Um, and to us, it was just an exciting activity because we grew up in a, in a, in a township where there were no activities. We will play on the streets and all that. So when we actually being taken away to go perform this or that task, it, it was so exciting. And the songs of the movement as well. When we come together, we sing. And so we got ourselves an activity. Little did we know that this was going to be our life. But for us, it was just an activity. And then how did that activity, what you eight, seven? Probably? Yeah, I was very young. I was uh, between uh, nine and ten. Um, yeah, but it was very, 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 very interesting. And then how did that kind of hobby, something to do for you in your mind, change to becoming politically active? No, as you accumulate knowledge and get more exposure, and as you get politicized, you realize that this is actually a, a big thing. You, you get to be told that you're going to go to schools with whites, go to schools with electricity, with windows and doors, and you're going to be taught with sitting with white people and everything like that. And this community is going to have the roads and street lights. You know, they simplify it like that. And you're like, is this possible? They say, yeah, if we work together as one, this is going to be achieved. Then the Nelson Mandela gets released from jail. Then you get to be told that dream is almost there. We need to push. We've been pushing since that time till today.